Welcome to Draytech Australia and New Zealand. My name is Roy Panetta and in this video I will show you how to configure the Draytech Vigor 130 router for VDSL bridge mode. This configuration is often used when you have to interface a broadband router such as the Vigor 2925 which has a gigabit Ethernet WAN interface to a VDSL service. Before starting, ensure that the Vigor 130 has the correct firmware installed that supports uh, NBN VDSL2 connection. The recommended firmware can be downloaded from the Draytech Downloads website. You will need to select the firmware with modem4.zip in the name. This firmware supports VDSL2 vectoring, which is required for the NBN. The first step is to check and adjust the WAN general configuration settings. Log into the router and go to Internet Access General Setup Configuration menu. Select VDSL2 only for DSL mode to speed up the line detection process. Some ISPs may require a VLAN tag for the VDSL2 connection. If required, enter this value in the VDSL2 VLAN tag insertion field for WAN1 as shown here and click OK to save. The router will now restart. Now to configure bridge mode, we go to Internet Access, MPOA slash static or dynamic IP configuration menu. Select Enable. On the bottom left of the page under Bridge Mode Selection, select Enable Bridge Mode. Now click OK to save the configuration. The router will now reboot. Once the router restarts, it will be in bridge mode. You should note that once the Vigor 130 is configured for bridge mode, the DHCP server on the Vigor 130 will not function. If you need to reconfigure the router, you will need to configure your PC to have a static IP address in the same subnet as the Vigor 130. This allows you to access the web interface. To test that the Vigor 130 is running in bridge mode, I will connect the Vigor 130 to a Vigor 2925 router and connect to a VDSL service. The online status in the Vigor 2925 indicates that a connection has been established over VDSL. On some routers such as the Vigor 2925, you can monitor the attached Vigor 130 WAN status. To enable this function, go to System Maintenance, Management menu and enable Device Management as shown here. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to our website www.draytech.com.au or you can send an email to sales at draytech.com.au.